What's up guys, Joker1014 here, we're back in the garage, I uh, just want to discuss some stuff real quick, um, mainly this is pointing towards the guys who follow me on this channel and it seems like they have a problem with me saying certain things or how I try to explain certain things because it kind of goes over their heads, so... It comes back to the video I said about the CDL driver <clears throat> who could not get his CDLs because he had a DUI on his background. If you listen, and I might have screwed up. I'm not saying I'm perfect at talking, but it seems like a lot of people are having issues with what I was saying. Or trying to say. Sometimes with me, you kind of got to read between the lines. Sometimes you got to sit back and be like, let me read this a couple times. Let me listen to what he's trying to say. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so the guy who is 71, 72 years old, he did not get his license in the 80s because that would make him 14. Okay, so that don't make sense. So he must have screwed up what he was trying to say somewhere. So, oh, I got it. I got it now. He was 71, 72 years old. He was talking in class to the classroom people that back in the 80s, there was a guy who was getting his CDLs. Oh, okay. So it, he must not been in that class. He must not been teaching that class because that would have made him 14 years old. No, 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 no. No. He knew, and I'm going to say this perfectly clear to you all, it goes over their heads and they just want to jumped to a conclusion saying, oh, he didn't screw up. He was trying to make something sound stupid. No. For one, I'm not dumb. For two, this is how it went. I went to a school in Indianapolis. <clears throat> All right. It was a week CDL class that they pay for your to go. And when you go to that school, you have other truck drivers that will come into your classroom and talk to you about their experience out on the road. Or they will talk to you about experience that happened in the past. So, for all of you who don't understand what I was trying to say, we're going to try this again. So... I was going to school for my CDLs, <clears throat> and there was a guy in my class who was 21, 22 years old, trying to get his CDLs. He could not get his CDLs because he had a DUI on his license. He tried to have it sponged off his license, and it didn't happen quick enough. So they kicked him out of class. There was a guy who is 71, 72 years old in my classroom telling us that back in the 80s, he was just, I don't know if it happened to him because it happened in the 80s. I don't know when in the 80s, it just happened in the 80s. He said that when his dad went and got his CDLs, back then you can get grandfathered in. So, when they grandfathered this guy in, they found out he could not get his CDLs because he had a DOI in the 80s. I don't know when in the 80s. It could have been the early 80s, could have been mid 80s, it could have been late 80s, early 90s. I don't know when. The guy who was telling us this, he was 71, 72 years old. 
So it would have been probably his dad. He didn't specify on who it was. He didn't specify on who the guy was. So, to make this video clear to everybody, I was in class with 15 other people. Some of them were 18, some of them were 19, some of them were 21, some of them were 25, some of them were 45, some of them was 55. Some of them were 60 years old. It was trying to get their CDLs. There was actually a guy and a woman, both married to each other in my class, who was in their mid-60s getting their CDLs because that's they just wanted to travel the world and make money why they did it but the guy who came into our classroom the speaker came into our classroom with our teacher sat there and told us a story that what happened in the 80s don't know when he didn't say it happened in 80 he didn't say it happened in 81. He didn't say it happened in 83. He didn't say it happened in 88. He didn't say it happened in 89. He didn't say it happened in 91. He just said in the 80s. So I don't know. So I can't answer that question. But yes, I see where everybody's coming from. If I made the video saying he was 71, 72 years old, and it happened in the 80s, that would make him 14 years old, or it don't even make him born at all. I don't know. So I kind of screwed up in that video, and I apologize for making everybody freak out and say, oh my God, this dude don't know what he's talking about. So if he was 71, 72, and it happened in the 80s, Either way, that would have made him 14 years old. There's no way he could have got a CDLs while he was 14. Oh my God! This dude's so stupid on the fucking internet. Why are we subscribed to him? My bad. I am sorry. I didn't realize I fucked up when I talked. I didn't realize I needed to write shit down on a piece of paper and tell you guys step for step how to do something. I didn't realize that you have to be smart to do a channel. I didn't realize you had to freaking know math to do ch a channel. I didn't realize you had to be a president of the United States to do a channel. Ever since I started this channel, ever since I started putting out videos, ever since I started getting subscribers, I've been getting these people coming to my channel and picking out the worst of, of me. Does it bother me? No. I think it's funny. I think it's hilarious. Does it look like it bothers me? No. Do I act like it bothers me? Yes, because I think it's funny as hell that I get people coming to my channel pretty much calling me stupid when they don't even watch the whole video. Just like I have a guy saying that, well, you're talking about someone, but you don't even say their name. Why should I say their name? I don't even remember his name. I don't remember the dude, the old man. It came into our classroom who is 71, 72 years old. I have no clue who he is. I just know he has a CDLs and he's been driving truck for 20 plus years. That's all I know. And if you guys like picking stuff out of my videos, that's fine. Because you guys are watching it, not me. So I think it's hilarious. I think it's funny that you get these people that thinks they're smart. And I'm not saying you guys are dumb, because you guys are ten times probably smarter than I am. But it's kind of funny that you guys are all stuck. There is four of you are literally stuck on this 71, 72, and that makes him 14. How in the hell did he get a CDLs at the age of 14? I don't know. You tell me because that's what you guys are thinking. Instead of making certain comments about it, just be like, hey, bro. Hey, Joker. 
well, this don't make sense. You're saying this dude is 71, 72 years old, but it happened in the 80s, so that makes him 14, so it don't make sense to me. Can you elaborate a little bit more on what you was trying to say? That would have been like, thumbs up. I definitely will do a video on it, just like I'm doing now. So with that being said, all the other subscribers, thank you, and uh, I appreciate it. And uh, thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, elaborating. There was a lady elaborating. She actually hit the head right on the nail, or the nail right on the head. And uh, she literally sat there and said what I just said to you guys. She was literally saying it was a guy in class that was teaching the class, but this guy wasn't teaching a class. He just came in and spoke to us and was telling us what happened back in the 80s. So I'm assuming it was by his dad or something. I don't know. I didn't sit there and go, hey, hey, I don't understand. That. If, you're, if you're 71, 72, right here, right here. Yeah, 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 me, me, me. If you're 71, 72, and it happened in the 80s, that would make you 14, right? Well, yeah. So, it didn't happen to you. So, who did it happen to? No. He never said that. And I never raised my hand and asked that question. I was just listening to the story he was saying about this guy who was in the 80s, sometime in the 80s. Oh, it could have been late 80s. It could have been 88, 89, 91 that this guy tried to get his CDLs, walked in somewhere, because back then, you could get grand grandfathered in. All you had to do is just go in, sign up for your CDLs, do your driver's test, and you're done. You got your CDLs. Now you have to go to class. You got to go for at least three weeks. The class I went to was a two-weeks program. So... Does this clear this up for everybody who has that issue? The guy, and I'm going to repeat it one more time. The guy who came into our classroom with our teacher, he's not our teacher. He was with our teacher. He was a speaker. He came in. He was 71, 72 years old. He was telling us what happened back in the 80s. Don't know if it was 81, 82, 83. I don't even know if it was the late 80s, the early 80s, the mid 80s. I just know it happened sometime in the 80s, he was saying. A guy in the 80s could not get his CDLs, even though the guy tried to sponge it and it didn't get sponged off his license quick enough was not allowed to get his CDOs. Did I screw up in my video when I made that video? Yes, I probably did. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Did some people understand what I was talking about? Yes. Did some people didn't understand that I was talking about? Yes. Did I screw up somewhere in that video when I made the video? Yes. I probably did. Do I need to speak on people's names? No. I don't need to call them by their names on a video. So if you don't under, understand who I was talking about because I didn't give a name, I don't need to give a name. It's my channel, my videos. I do it how I want to do it. If you guys want to watch it, that's fine. If you guys don't want to, that's fine too. But I'm really showing you who I really am now. If I screwed up in a video, I apologize. If you guys didn't understand how I talk, I've told you before, I kind of talk backwards. My wife can even tell you that. When I tell a story that happened in real life to me, I jump around in that story. It's not because I'm doing it on purpose. It's just 
I was never taught in school. And this is why I make videos because when people don't get taught a certain way in school, that don't mean they're stupid. That don't mean they're dumb. They just have to figure stuff out on their own. So with that being said, <clears throat> Joker 1014 and up is out. Stay positive. Stay true to yourself. And don't let people like this bring you down. Much love.